Blues Boy Jag here. This time it's not a cigar box guitar lesson. It's a bass review. This is a Squire bass. Jaguar. The name of this bass is so long I had to write it down and read it to you. So it is the Squire Vintage Modified Jaguar Bass Special SS Short Scale. So it's a short scale bass. And this is the Jaguar shape for the base. And it's special. Well, I think it's special. I love this base. It's absolutely amazing. I paid $169 for this in 2018. And over the years, the prices have gone up. And they're about $320 now. And when I bought this, that was the normal price. $169 was not a sale price. I went to a local bar called the Whitewater Tavern, by the way which is one of the best dive bars in America, here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And there was a band playing, and I looked at the bass, and I really was, like, initially surprised at the tone of the bass, and I thought, what kind of bass is he playing? And I was like, that's a strange-looking bass. It's short, so that's a short scale. It looks like a Fender, and it was the exact same colors as this one. And I thought, A, it sounded amazing, and B, it looked amazing, too. I really love this design. So anyway, I talked to the fellow when he was taking a break, talked to the bass player, he told me all about it. He said it's one of the best basses he's ever owned. I don't remember what kind of amp he was playing through, but it sounded absolutely amazing. And uh, so I thought, you know, I've got a uh, Fender, just a straight up Fender Squire bass I bought many years ago. I never was happy with it. It sounded very frumpy. By frumpy, I mean it just the tone was just, didn't sound very good. You could plug it into a big bass amp and it would have a nice beefy big tone, but it was like, I don't know, just I just didn't like it at all. And uh, I don't really play a whole lot of bass, but I do do some recording at home, and I thought well, this might be a good recording bass, and this bass is absolutely phenomenal. The tone is absolutely to die for. So, apparently I like the word absolutely. So I'm gonna read you the entire, so I've got the specs down below for this bass, and I'm just gonna play a little bit here, and I'll talk about it some more in a minute. here as far as tone so there's obviously going to be a volume control and the interesting way that they did this is your tone is determined by the volume of each knob well that makes sense that's pretty much how every electric guitar works but this one's slightly different so there's one pickup volume for the first knob so you can mix and match your tone so for instance if I play an A string now the tone is all the way off on the A string, but the volume is still there. It's 100% volume for, the, for that particular pickup, which is gonna be this pickup right here. So as you probably know, the further back the pickup is, the more treble it's gonna be, and the further up it's gonna be more bassy. So this pickup right here is gonna be somewhat more bassy than this one right here. There's actually two pickups here, which makes it very interesting. So. Right now I've got both volumes all the way up. So I'm coming through both pickups and the volume is all the way up and the tone is all the way up for both of them. So let's get a good uh, cross section of the tone here. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna manipulate the knobs and you can kind of get an idea of the tone. Hopefully this will come through pretty well on YouTube. So that's your normal everything up to 10. So if I turn the 
tone down on this pickup, the bass pickup, that's what you get. So I've turned the volume down of that first pickup here, and we're only left with this pickup right here. So all the tone is going to be coming through this pickup right now. So that's obviously more trouble because it's closer to the bridge, right? So it's a brighter tone. Now if I go back, hopefully you can hear that, the difference. By the way, I'm not playing through a bass amp. I'm playing through a Cube. 10GX, which has an unbelievable tone for bass. It's not designed for bass, but it has great bass response. So that's 100% everything all the way up. Now I'm going to turn this second pickup all the way off. So we're only coming out of this pickup here. So it's a much more robust, much bigger tone. By the way, I'm absolutely astounded at how good this little dinky Cube 10 DX sounds with a bass plugged into it. But I digress. So right now I'm playing the forward pickup with the tone all the way down, all the way up, and the middle pickup with the tone all the way down. Now I'm gonna bring the lower pickup tone all the way up. So here's all the way down tone with the treble pickup, or the bridge pickup. Now, tone all the way up. Much more even tone. Tone all the way up. And now tone all the way down. So that's your treble. That's your treble pickup because it's down here. Now we have the tone control. So I tuned the tone all the way down and I'm running off of this pickup here. The rear pickup. Sounds like an upright bass. Now I'm going to bring that tone all the way up. All the way down again. on the treble pickup. So now I'm going to bring the tone up on the bass pickup or the front pickup. Here's the tone all the way up. The bass and treble tone all the way up on the forward pickup. Again folks, I'm not really a bass player so Apologies for that. That tone is just stunning. So again, that's the front pickup right here, the forward pickup. All tone, all the way up. Now here's the tone all the way down. Now you may not be able to hear it, but it has a nice round tone, but it's not too bright and it's not too dull either. Okay, so now both pickups all the way up and the tone all the way up. Very easy.
even tone. Amazing. <laughs> By the way, for guitar players, this guitar is super easy to play because it's a short scale bass. Super, super easy. The strings are not too slack either. A lot of times a short scale bass, the strings are real slack and they're just buzzing all over the place. But the tone of this is absolutely incredible. And even the fact that I'm running through a little dinky guitar amp makes it even more amazing. You could run this directly out of the amp into your PA, as I do with my guitar, and you could use a bass through, let's say, my $500 used Bose system. It would sound absolutely phenomenal. volume for each pickup, volume for the forward pickup, and a volume for the rear pickup, and then you have a tone control. So I'm going to manipulate the tone control. I'm going to have both pickups on 100% and the tone all the way down. It's not too muddy, it still has a usable tone, right? That might be something cool that you could use for a low volume gig. So I'm using both pickups again. So now I'm going to turn the tone all the way up and play some of the same licks I just played. All right. So now I'm going to go to the forward pickup, tone all the way down. pickups. So right now I've got both pickups 100% tone all the way up. Now here's the second pickup down here halfway off. So the treble is slightly less. You still retain the same tone, right? Now here's that pickup all the way off. even tone no boominess a lot of basses that you play and i know that some basses are supposed to be that way you play certain notes and it's they're louder than other notes but with this one it's perfectly even it's really an amazing bass i love this bass so look down below for all the specs of this bass there's a whole lot of different specs considering that there's two separate pickups actually if you want to get down to it there's three separate pickups because these two pickups are next to each other and one pickup covers these strings, the top two strings, and the other pickup covers the other two strings. And then you have the pickup down here. So yes, it's three pickups, but the way it's designed is for the top two strings and the lower strings. So these pickups have the same tone, basically. But it's really an ingenious setup to have tone control down here and separate volumes. So if you wanted to play, let's say, uh, disco, or funk, then you would probably use the rear pickup because it's brighter. Obviously, I'm a 
terrible bass thumper, but you get the idea. So that's strictly the rear pickup. Now if I add the front pickup to that, it's the same tone but just fatter, right? It's got more bass to it, but it's the same sound. It doesn't drastically change the sound. Awesome. Plus it's an absolutely gorgeous guitar, just gorgeous. It's a little bit heavy. In fact, it's a lot heavy. Why? Because it's so short, they probably had to put more weight in it to really boost the volume of it and boost the tone. But the tone is absolutely, in my opinion, incredible. Just flawless. Really, really cool bass. The one downside, only one downside, me, only one downside, that never happens. The only downside that I can come up with on this is that you do have to turn your knobs to change your tone. But I figure that you probably can get pretty quick at that with a little bit of practice. In other words, you can't just flip a switch real quick. You gotta turn this and then maybe turn that or turn the back tone and then turn the volume on that one or whatever. It's not a flip switch kind of a situation, but I ain't complaining at all because this bass is a winner in my book. Very, very, very cool. And as far as I'm concerned, I paid $169, which was the normal price in 2018. As far as I'm concerned, the $300 plus price that they're at now is still too low. This is just an amazing, amazing bass. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars, not like this one. And we'll see you next time.